For Aloha, this is Dr. George Carmack from RenewYourself.net and I'm going to actually demonstrate to you today how to make my Dr. George's Super Smoothie, Super E3 Live Smoothie and pretty simple, um, so when I take a couple of minutes, this is going to just light you up in the morning. Best time to have it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach because that E3 Live powder is going to get into your bloodstream in about 20 minutes when it's mixed with juice and fruit. We do not want to have a heavy starchy meal like we're going to have oatmeal or something <coughs> grain like like that and then have the E3 Live after that's just going to ferment in your stomach for hours, make you feel sick, not going to be good. So first thing in the morning we're going to start, this is how I start my day, we're going to have about 10 to 12 ounces of fresh squeezed apple juice which we've juiced out of the juicer. This is going in the Vitamix. <clears throat> I like to use about a half a cup of either fresh or frozen organic berries because they're not too high glycemic, but they're going to make it um, thick and taste really good. So we've got some frozen strawberries and blackberries and blueberries here. Yum. <clears throat> We're going to add the E3 Live powder, if you haven't heard my other videos, the new powder is finely ground and much denser. Excuse me, something in my throat here. <coughs> there you go. Okay, um, this is about five to six tablespoons of the liquid in one tablespoon of the powder. And um, there's four times the chlorophyll in E3 Live as in wheatgrass juice. So this one tablespoon is going to be the equivalent of about 15 shots of wheatgrass juice in terms of chlorophyll. Um, E3 Live has a patent on win window refractance drying. They're the only ones that make a true raw um, powder. It's cold processed. And so I myself would recommend that you start, if you're fairly cleansed, you can start with about a tablespoon. If you're eating standard American diet, you may want to start with about a teaspoon and work yourself up at about a teaspoon a week. I'm up to three tablespoons first thing in the morning. And so, one, two, three, that's three tablespoons of E3 Live powder. And we're going to add a tablespoon of pure synergy powder, which is going to give you a lot of minerals, some Chinese supertonic herbs, some enzymes, um, lots of green veggies, sprouts in there about 64 different nutrients. Interestingly enough, when the owner, Mitchell May, um, did curl and photography, a year later on all of the ingredients on her, they still had a huge bioluminescent um, aura around them, meaning this stuff is still very much alive. <clears throat> I'm going to add one teaspoon, not a teaspoon, but um, a little bit less than a teaspoon, yeah, it's actually about a teaspoon of glutamine. This is micronized glutamine powder. <clears throat> about 40% of your muscle is made of glutamine. So that's the number one amino acid in there. And I feel that a lot of life, if you're on a live food diet, one of the shortcomings, a lot of people deficient on protein, sometimes deficient on B12 and definitely deficient on long chain omega-3 fatty acids. That's EPA, DHA. And the only big in sources of that are blue-green algae, and you need a lot of that. That's half of your central nervous system, meaning your brain, spinal cord, and central nervous system is composed of these long-chain omega-3 fatty acids. So on top of that, <clears throat> I like to add a little scoop of micronized creatine. I saw actually been training Dr. Gabriel Cousins and He's been also taking this and um, really helps with strength gains when you're strength training and it's going to keep that muscle mass on you so you don't just kind of shrivel away. Uh, on top of that, I'll usually add maybe a half a banana. Um, you can just do that regular if you have the frozen berries. Just a little bit of cold. You don't want it ice cold. And then we're going to add some Golgi berries, which are going to be complete protein. Um, these are also really good for um, increasing jing, for longevity.
longevity for kidney gene. Um, complete protein, as I said, lots of antioxidants from that bright red. I noticed that my eyesight improved when I was eating a lot of Golgi berries. And so we're going to add that to it. And we lost the lid to the Vitamix, so we're going to put the saucer on top and blend.